Hi friends, welcome back to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny, and today we're gardening here in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm at the home of my son and daughter-in-law and grandkids, and my daughter-in-law, Beth, is here. And today's project is to pot up some fall annual for uh, front porch interest. So come with us and let's put some fall pots together. So this is the collection of plants that Beth picked out at the garden center the other day. Um, this beautiful tricolor mum all in one pot. And then we have a selection of ornamental kales. This one is a nice taller ruffly leaf one. And then there's a six pack of these little purple and green rosettes. And then one of the plain green rosettes. And then there's two of these osteospermums, which are a nice um, interesting color with purple and orange and yellow and cream all in the same set and lots of buds coming on on those. And then here's another mum and this one has more of a rust colored maybe um, coloration on it. And then this I think is a straw flower. Yep. And it's a beautiful rosy pink. And then this celosia for a nice beautiful pop of color. But all I right, so Okay, so yeah, so and then these are the pots that we're working with. Which which pots are we keeping and yeah. which pots are we moving to the inside? This is trash. We're gonna okay. move um, any of my clay pots or more ceramics. ceramic pots. Uh, ditch those out so they can go into the garage before the cold really comes and they accidentally crack. I've had that happen a few times. So uh, we'll, we'll stay in these plastic nice containers okay. and shift some things here and there, there. Alright, yeah. so there we go. I'm just going to set up the camera and we'll just get to work. So, you will find people on YouTube all different opinions about what to do with your container soil. Um, you can find people who tell you that you must replace your container soil every single time you change plants. You'll find people who say, you can totally reuse it. All you gotta do is put fertilizer in. And you'll find people telling you everything in between. What are we doing today, Beth? I'm planning on reusing the soil that we've been using, putting a top layer of fresh potting soil in. Uh, ultimately, Jenny would say fall isn't very long here. <laughs> And the plants don't need to make it all that long. Well, it's that, true. that's actually true. I mean, it, yeah. here we are in mid-September and your first frost is often in early October, October right? So, um, these... they're a little protected, so they'll last longer than that. But usually yeah. uh, by end of October, November, um, for sure after Halloween, these plants are gone. And by then I'm working on Christmas pots. And we're not looking for growth out of these. We're just really looking for them to sit where they are and keep looking pretty. And so for that, we don't need to have freshest soil with the most nutrient dense material. So yeah. we're going to reuse the potting soil, maybe top it off if we need to and move on with our lives. <laughs> if you have a different method in your garden, that's great. Put your comments down below and let us know how you do your fall containers. So we're taking the ceramic pots into the garage for the winter because they may crack in the freezing weather that yeah. we have here. It's happened to me in the past. I've lost some beautiful pots. So I will not forget this year. <laughs> okay, so this is a trick that I always, maybe Beth wouldn't have given me this job if she knew this about me. But on mums, when they're so full and thick like this, I am always worried about taking off a couple of these branches by accident, like this one. So um, I'm just warning you, take gentle care, putting this soil down beside the root ball so that the understory of these branches is preserved and not broken. So super, super gentle and super messy.
Thank you, wall. <laughs> oh no, we, we need more plants. <laughs> this planter looks sad and empty. You know, when you put this giant mom that you thought was going to go in your big planter into its own planter, Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely on the lookout for more plants. Yeah. So, uh, another thing, I know a lot of people do their planters to be like seen from lots of different directions, but being in here, I usually just pick one angle and garden through that. So I'm thinking the two towers, and then we'll fill in with a middle and then yep. Kathy's up front. Yeah, that's a good plan. Kind of gardening. And I kind of like this gardening job because I'm behind the camera most of it, and that's fine with me. There's definitely room for more plants. Oh darn, shopping. Yes. These and those are so similar, yeah. I know. I feel like the pot. Maybe though, these two need to be closer together. Because these are moms, so I uh, should have these moms oh, I see. there. And so I see. it's like it should be mirrored. But I don't want that in the front. Yeah. So I'm just gonna move stuff around. Yeah. Well, Beth, I think your 
planters are beautiful. You did a really nice job. Yeah, they turned out great. Why don't you take a little walk through what you ended up with? Because yeah. I know we had two different, two different shopping trips for this um, collection. Yeah, so we have a tri-colored mum that I thought would go in a big planter, but ultimately just got its own planter, which works really nice. Um, and then for this planter, we had these two kales this tall tail kale and I forget what this Celosia. is called. Celosia. Um, and then decided, oh, we need more plants. And so we bought these three, uh, a mum, a lemon thread, lemon ball, lemon ball sedum, and then a plum pudding. Is that what it is? Yeah, plum pudding corobel, which ultimately did, then didn't all fit in the one planter, but was able to pop another one. Um, so that looks great. That's awesome. And so the plum pudding cucro is going to go into the garden at the yes. end of the season. Yes. Uh, when she does up her Christmas pots, she'll put those in to the garden. And maybe the sedum is hardy, but maybe it's an annual. I think it's an annual here. It says annual. Okay. So I could throw it in and see what happens. See what happens. Yeah. So, yeah, really, really pleased with this. And actually, yeah, this being in its own pot actually works really well. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Harmony Hills Home and Garden. It's been a pleasure having you with us. And uh, we're just about done gardening in St. Paul, Minnesota. We'll be coming back to you from Maryland in a little short time from now. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you'll come back and we'll see you again in another video real soon. Bye-bye.